Good evening, everyone. This is Grand Admiral Orlando Star Saber. I'm here to talk a little bit about uh, doing the current um, Galactic Challenge, which is the Geonosian Separatist. Now, the basically the requirements of this, all the feats are focused around a Jedi squad, specifically. There's some buffs that you, and debuffs that exist that can help and hurt you here. Geonosis Arena, it basically um, will allow you to survive longer the more you attack. So that's something we'll get into in a little bit and why the squad I'm going to give you can work. The next thing is Humble Strike. So if any enemy debuffs are expelled during a Jedi Ally's ability, that Jedi gains advantage. That's something that, uh, and 25% critical damage stacking, that's something that will help you a lot here to help you finish the geos rather quickly when this is longer into the fight. And malicious minions. So these guys are just, all you need to know here is these geos are super fast. They're going to go before you no matter what speed mods you put on. It doesn't entirely matter, although turn order is kind of important. But a little bit in the squad itself, we'll get into, and I'll kind of explain how the mods were set up. I didn't, go, I don't need to necessarily go into uh, remodding things, but if you do want to remod, you want to remod specifically your Grandmaster Yoda and your Hermit Yoda and your Jedi Knight Revan for speed, and leave the rest as is. But these things are so fast, you're not going to outspeed these Geos. You're just going to have to. Uh, deal with what you got and what you're really looking for is a certain outcome in the initial barrage of the geos and who they target specifically you want them to target grandmaster yoda and trigger savior from dark or jedi knight revan against him and we'll show you how that works here so the first run we're going to go in here and as you can see they're going to go crazy um now you can see that they did target uh Je or Grandmaster Yoda, and the first thing you want to do here is you're just going to target the brute with the basic. That will throw up a foresight. He will counter your attack, and you will evade that attack based on the foresight. As you can see, dodged. Boom. The next thing you want to do here is now you have the uh, um, Heroes Arise ability from Jedi Knight Luke. You want to go ahead and use that because that will call everyone to assist. It will clear your debuffs. And it will get Grandmaster Yoda closer to the turn. And because you put Jedi Knight Luke in the next of the turn order, he did take out. Okay, so now that was bad RNG. Sometimes the spy does ruin the thing. You can go ahead and back out, retreat, and try again. Because you're looking for specifically to get that... Uh, Jedi Knight Luke's leadership ability to slow that team down so you can basically run circles around it. So we'll go ahead and run it again. You can see they go. They hit uh, Grandmaster Yoda. We'll go ahead and hit that basic for that free evade. And we'll call Heroes Arise. Now we did lose that, but now we got a free turn here. We might be able to continue this forward. This is kind of the make or break point. We'll do the mass stun. And we'll just keep working on this basic. So we do a basic. You want to get to turn. Go ahead and put up the uh, Grandmaster's training on Grandmaster Yoda again. Do another basic. Get another turn. Keep working our way. Actually, we're not going to do that quite yet. Yeah, we'll have to I think it's going to counter and kill him, but no, okay, we're okay. We'll go ahead and throw up a uh, foresight to everybody just to make sure that the uh, foresights are up if they counterattack on Revan. We'll go ahead and throw that up. He countered attack to a dodge. That's good. We go ahead and call Grandmaster Yoda to keep him moving forward. He counters into a foresight. We put more foresight with um, Hermit Yoda. Basic, we can do a lot of these in a row, as you can see. Dodge. I haven't been counting, but you will just want to count up to 10 here and make sure that you get the 10 of aids. Now, we're pretty close here. I'm going to go ahead and start working around the rest of the geos. 
to help kill this team. Now, because of that stacking ability I mentioned, Grandmaster Yoda's AoEs are going to do begin to do more damage. He's going to do more damage in general. Your spy can obviously ruin things here. And in this case, he did do a lot of damage. We're going to go ahead and try to focus down the Brood Alpha. Didn't quite work there. We'll see if... No, wasn't able to do it. So sometimes RNG will bite you. You got to kind of roll with the punches and deal with it. Now you're starting to see the basic strategy. You're just working around trying to get... Use that basic ability to get those counterattacks, the foresights to get the evades. And then it's just a battle of attrition. So that's what you're going to have to keep doing is keep working that. Okay, in this case, they targeted Revan. No savior to be triggered. You retreat. You're going to go through a lot of this type of stuff. Don't expect this to happen on the first turn. This is going to take some finagling and some patience to get there to the end. They target right, but again, so we're going to keep on popping it in there until they start get the right turnover order started. Okay, went after Grandmaster Yoda. That's what you want. You can start with the basic free counter. Here are the rise. Took out both of those. Again, we had Spy ruin the show. That's the most common foil. But when the Spy gets a turn, that's often where things can go south. If you don't get that Jedi Master slow to, Luke's slowdown beforehand, that can often be the thing that upsets us. So you just kind of got to wait it out. Okay, we had that go again. Looking good so far. Here's the rise. Okay, lost us a Jedi Anakin. That's unfortunate. Sometimes you can actually do this and keep him alive. But I think it's possible still to work through this even if you're just working Grandmaster Yoda. So we'll go ahead and toss up Foresight. Keep working on him. Work these dodges. Four. Five. Throw up some foresight. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And spy foil it again. So that's what you're going to keep on doing. And hopefully you get the right turnover. So you can go ahead and finish the battle as quickly as possible. Because that spy is the uh, wild card here you just have to keep on dealing with. Okay, go ahead with our basic. Get that one. Here's a rise. Mass stone. This time we saved... Jedi Anakin, I'm going to go ahead and throw up Foresight on anybody so we have that. Two. Three. Four. Let's throw up some more Foresight. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Throw some foresight. Nine. Ten. So now we're at a point we can go ahead and finish this battle. We'll try to... Uh, Target someone other than Brute. Try to get the, the Brute Alpha out of there quickly. Worked. So now I'll go ahead and tackle Pago the Lesser. Go ahead and throw some... Uh, we'll go ahead and throw that on Jedi Anakin. 
because I want him to, to get as big of an AOE as he can the first time it's available. Go ahead and finish the Geo Soldier, try to take a little bit more damage out of there. Go ahead and target down Sunfac. More Foresight doesn't do too much, but it'll help uh, work through this. And we're done. So you can see RNG is a factor in this, but this is very doable. You just have to work your way through it. If you're doing that, that'll pretty much get you all of the mo the feats here. Complete tier 10, complete the battle, win after baiting 10 attacks. That's what we were showing you there. A lot more than three critical hits in a row during ally turns. Um, and full squad of Jedi, that's all gets accomplished with that. So that's doing it in one shot. You just have to be patient with all the RNG factors that are involved. That's pretty much all there is. If anyone has any more questions, please ask in game chat or with a uh, notification directly to me in Discord. This is Grand Admiral Ando Star Saber. I am May the Force be with you, setting out.